Okay, we are talking about thunderstorms today. Um, so to make a thunderstorm, the atmosphere has to have, meet three conditions, or we have to have three ingredients. So the first one is moisture. So we have to have water in the air um, so that it can form rain droplets later. We have to have rising unstable air. Um, and that's where some warmth can come into play. And we have to have a lifting mechanism. So that can be um, warm air that's really light, and so it rises above cold air. So we can have air masses that cause the rising. We can have landforms that cause the rising. Um, so if you have like a mountain here and an air mass coming along and it hits the mountain and the mountain forces it to go up and over, so that air mass is being forced to rise. And then again with the air masses, if you have um, some warm air sitting here and you have some cold air coming in like a cold front and it hits the warm air and it forces it to rise. So those can be our rising mechanisms, our lifting mechanisms. Oops, all right. So once we have these conditions, so we have the sun has warmed the earth, so we have some warm air full of moisture or it has come and hit a mountain. Either way, it's being, the moist air is being forced to rise and as it gets up high in the atmosphere, um, it starts to cool. Because we know up higher in the troposphere, it starts to cool. And so when water vapor gets cold, it condenses and forms water droplets or ice crystals. And we get a lovely cumulus cloud. So right now we have lots and lots of updrafts of warm, moist air. Okay. Okay. Then... We have the mature stage of the thunderstorm. So we have a towering cumulus cloud. It's nice and tall. This is the stage where we're going to get lightning, tornadoes, hail, and other severe um, things like wind, really strong winds. So we have our warm, moist air going up into the clouds. We call these updrafts. And once it gets up to the top of the cloud, it cools, condenses, and sinks. So we get condensed water droplets or maybe even hail. And it starts to sink. So the heavy rain starts to sink and it brings the cool air with it. So we get cool air downdrafts that are starting to cool the ground. And then we have our dissipating stage. So after um, the ground has been cooled, we don't have any more warm air rising or any more moisture to be added to the clouds. So we have more downdrafts than we have updrafts. So during this stage, um, the clouds are just kind of getting rid of the rest of their moisture, and they're still going to expect heavy rains, but it's going to taper off towards the end. All right, so let's go back and talk about um, lightning. So lightning is an electrical current that forms in clouds because ice crystals and water drops are bumping up against each other, and when they bump up against each other, it releases electrons, and those negatively charged electrons build up in clouds, so we have a cloud full of negative charges here. And we know that negative charges are attracted to opposites, so they're attracted to positive charges. And there are tons and tons and tons of positive charges here on Earth's surface. Like trees are positively charged, the ground is positively charged, our houses are positively charged. And so those negative charges are gonna start to jump down out of the clouds. And the positive charges say, ooh, negative charges. And so they're gonna jump up from where they are, and they're gonna come to meet each other. And when we have those meeting of the electrons and the protons, the positive charges, that's when we're gonna have that big loud, that big flash of lightning and that big loud crack. All right, so I'm gonna have you watch a separate video about how tornadoes are formed so we can learn about that as well.